Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Brittany. Today I am going to be doing a deep clean on my bathroom. This is uh, the master bathroom at our house. So yeah, it's a mess. As you can see, I have a lot of work to do. So I guess we'll go ahead and get started here in just a second. Here I'm struggling trying to get this soap up, but I finally got it. I'm just gonna get everything cleaned off of here and spray it down. I'm gonna use some um, all-purpose um, or method anti-bag all-purpose cleaner. Wildflower scent, it kinda stinks, but it's what I got to work with right now. So I'm gonna just wipe everything down real good with this. gonna put some of these scrubbing bubbles in the bathtub and let them sit for a second and just wipe everything out real good. As you will be able to see here in a minute we don't have a whole lot of room in our bathroom to store some things so I have this little shower caddy where I keep the bubble bath, soap, some different things that I need for bath. Um, I just keep it back there and now I'm just gonna keep wiping off the side of the bathtub and the baseboards Okay, so the scrubbing bubbles have set long enough and now I'm just going to scrub the inside of the tub. So now I'm going to move on to my shower. I'm just going to pull everything out and get ready to clean. I didn't realize it, but Ryan apparently likes to collect um, empty bottles of shampoo and conditioner over there. I thought that they still had some in it. I thought that he just liked to not use all of the all of one and then bring more in there. And so he was just collecting some, but they were actually empty. So now I'm going to throw them away. But anyways, now I'm just going to kind of scrub everything down here. these Mr. Clean magic erasers are good for kind of like soap scum and stuff so I was gonna try this on um, my doors of my shower and I also wanted to try it on the bottom of my shower because it's kind of stained if anybody has any tips on how to get this stain up you'll see it here in a second um, let me know I could probably I've heard of the stones but I maybe need to get one of those I don't know can see I'm scrubbing it scrubbing the mess out of it and it's still not coming up so I don't know what to do here Okay, now I'm just gonna scrub my doors here down with this magic eraser and it actually works. It gets a lot of the soap scum off and it cleans them really good.
now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean them with some Windex and get them really shine in here. Okay, I decided to pull out the bleach cleaner to spray on this stain to see if it would remove some of it. I'm gonna let it soak for a little while before I spray it out of there. The paint is coming off of that little baseboard down there. That's why it looks like that. It's wood painted white. Okay, so at this point, Reese had woken up from her nap and I had better lunch, so this had been sitting for a good 30 or 45 minutes and I just decided to come rinse out the Clorox and everything else had to just get put on hold until she went to bed later this night. Okay, so this is later on this day. Um, this is 8.30 at night after Reese went to bed. I didn't get to do anything else until after she went back to sleep. But um, So the lighting is gonna be different for the rest of this video. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything off of the counter and get it to where I can wipe everything down. comes in to say hey he had just gotten in from church it was a Wednesday night service and he was just checking out my lighting situation he was giving me some tips so but everything looked good when you look my way. Here I'm just going to spray everything down, wipe off the cabinets. You can see under here in a second um, that I don't have hardly any room. Like I keep my towels, hand towels and washcloths on one side and then I have a little basket with like extra stuff and some things that I store underneath there. But um, yeah, so I need to, I need more room and I need better organization skills, but I'm working on that. Okay, this little thing is above the toilet, so I'm just wiping it down. Um, I usually have some artificial greenery above the top of it, but I took it down to clean it off, and you will see that later in this video. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna wipe everything down here. Now on to the dirty work. I'm going to spray everything down with this antibacterial spray. I'll wipe some stuff down with a paper towel and then I'm going to go back again with some Lysol wipes. You'll see. I'm gonna let this method antibac toilet cleaner soak in the toilet for a little while before I clean it. And these little Clorox toilet wand refills is what I'm using to scrub. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we're almost finished. I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything back where it belongs and get ready to sweep and mop. Gonna use my Swiffer here to mop in the bathroom. All right, one of the last things I'm gonna do is put these little bleach tablets in the toilet. That's good for however many flushes. Hopefully this works. But yeah, so I went ahead and washed my rug today while I was cleaning. I'm gonna bring in my laundry and I am finished here. So I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Please stick around to see more videos. I'm about to show y'all how clean everything got, but yeah, I'm loving it. Um, so yeah, thanks again. We'll see you guys later.